Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another spotlight on petite palettes, this time with an appropriately spooky brand and spooky palette. This is the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Elvira palette, and well, first, look at this packaging. Stunning. Love it. Shades, spooky. Good to go. <laughs> And I am mostly barefaced because I'm actually filming this on a Saturday. And normally Saturdays are, with the exception of the staycation I took last week, uh, Saturday is the one day a week I leave my house. I work from home full time. I stay in my house doing my best to protect myself and others because the rest of the country's, at least our government, is just trying to pretend COVID really doesn't exist anymore, but it does. So uh, whenever I know I'm going out and I'm going to be wearing a mask, I really only do eye makeup. So that's why I was wearing a mask in the thumbnail. I don't tend to do base makeup right now. All I'm wearing is a setting spray and some pore filling primer, and that's really all I'm going to be wearing on my face for today. But I do have a lot of fun with my eyeshadow still. So I wanted to show you just kind of how I would go through and do an eye look when I know I'm going to be wearing a mask. And I wanted to have fun and do something like smoky and fun, so Elvira. There are um, three like ready mauve kind of shades. So I'm thinking I'm going to use those on my lid to create a nice kind of like berry-ish smoky eye and then I want to use this pop of blue in the lower lash line because of course I do um and then I might do some liner of the black I don't know so we're just gonna have fun we're gonna walk through it and then at the end I'll show you the final look with the mask on just because why not so I've already done my eyebrows and I've primed my eyes I primed my eyes I don't have it out anymore but with my dermacol makeup cover and then I set it with my um just regular face powder, which I believe is from CoverGirl right now. Looking back, I probably should have used this white shade, but it might have made things a little too stark. Um, whenever I set a, uh, an eye primer with white, it definitely looks all right when I'm doing a full face of makeup, but when I'm not doing a full face of makeup, if you set your eye primer with white, there's a very clear distinction between like where your eye primer ends and when your eye look ends and like the rest of your skin. So I decided to set it. Um, we're gonna go over first, like just my lid up to my brow bone on the inner, inner two thirds of my eye. And we're just gonna go over that lightly with the white shade just to start off with. Something that's actually a little bit of a challenge for me this time is that this is an all matte palette. Personally, I don't like all matte looks. I love shimmer. I love bright things on my eyelid. That's what I think that's, I think that's the main reason why I like eyeshadow is I just like bright, cute things on my eyes. <laughs> so the fact that this is an all matte palette, I actually like really debated whether or not I wanted to bring something in. But for the purpose of this spotlight on petite palettes, I'm just going to keep it an all matte look. And if I don't like it, I'll just throw some glitter on top of it later but I'm gonna challenge myself to do a very nice all matte look for this all right so we've used the white to kind of set and give us a nice primer from here until right about here and I'm gonna go in with this big shade right here and it's also big because I believe you can also use this as a blush I'm not doing a full face of makeup today and my face is already red as you can see I do tend to get redness on my face especially it's actually kind of hot today still because I'm in an attic so I do tend to get a little bit of redness. So when I'm not doing a no makeup makeup, when I'm doing a no makeup makeup day, I don't tend to wear anything <laughs> on my face. But I do like that they made it big like that. So you could technically, I mean, for me, this is actually a multi-use palette because I've got a matte white, I've got a matte black, and I've got a blush. So if I were to go traveling, this actually wouldn't be a bad palette to bring along with me. But I'm going to use that big shade as my main transition. And something I actually like um, with the mirror in here. So this mirror is a little cut out in the shape of a dagger. And I have to say, for other palettes I've seen where there's like a, a cute cut out mirror, it's not actually useful. But this, I can actually look into the mirror and see the entirety of both of my eyes, which is kind of just like my bare minimum. Like, can I actually use this mirror for stuff? And the answer is yes. I also bought this palette on sale. I know uh, since they're an indie brand, a Lunatic Cosmetics Labs is a bit expensive. I believe I got this for $10 on sale. And I know that they are currently doing a like 31 days of Halloween sale and every day something else goes on sale. Make sure you follow them on Instagram because that's how I've been seeing all of those on sale. And then uh, I believe they do a big Black Friday sale. All right, so I think we've got a good enough transition going. It definitely looks a lot darker on the eyelid than it does in the pan. So just keep that in mind if you do get this. Next, I'm going to move in with this bright red shade right up here and just work that into my fake crease. My f my face? That, no, that doesn't sound right. 
but since I have hooded lids, I don't really have a visible crease, so whenever I do bring a shade into my crease, it's my fake crease. The crease I create. The created crease. And I don't want to go too heavily into the bright red because the deepening shade is really more of a berry burgundy, so I don't want this to go too bright red. I really want to keep this like this deep, soft kind of shade so that when we deepen it up, it doesn't look too out of place. I have to say, I do like how these shades are working together. They do look very pretty. All right, now that we have our crease, quote unquote, color in, I'm gonna take a different brush and I'm gonna go into that deep burgundy shade, just color switching it, just to make sure nothing else is on here and use this really to deepen up the outer V. And I am being fairly like dirty and careless out here. Whenever I don't wear a full face of makeup and I do my eyes first, I do tend to go in later with like a makeup wipe or something and just clean up this edge. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be doing with this because it is going to be kind of a dramatic look. So I'm not really worried about how messy I'm getting like out here. And then for the sake of my lids, I'm just going to take that first transition shade we used and I think I'm just going to use my finger and just pat it on the lid so it doesn't look as white. Yeah, like that. So we've got like a little touch of like the light pink that we started with right there. There we go. So I think we are good with the lid. So I lied. I want to use a little bit of the black as a liner. So what I'm going to use is just a flat liner brush. I'm going to go into the black. I'm not going to do my entire lid just because I'm not wearing a like lid glitter. So I think it might look a little bit out of place if I were to line the entire thing. So what I'm going to do is just really concentrate this liner on like the last like half an inch of my eye. Let's see if I can get this stamped like that so it's subtle but we still have a little bit of definition here and then when I do the lower lash line I'm gonna use that blue and then I'm gonna stamp the black just a tiny bit here to give us kind of a little bit of a cat eye effect just a little bit And since it's so subtle, I'm not really going to go in and blend it out. I think it looks fine just the way it is. So now here's the tricky part because I've gotten this uneven so many times. I'm going to use a makeup wipe and I'm basically going to go and clean up and create a nice wing. Uh, it's very important that you use a big mirror to do this and try to match up your wings because otherwise you're going to have some lopsided wings. And when they're the only makeup you're wearing, it's super easy for that to stick out and be like, oh, her eyes are not like even. Doesn't mean that it's a, like it's not... It's not terrible if you like don't match them up perfectly. I mean, you know, sisters, not twins, but I've noticed like it bugs me when they're not like when they're really messed up. So I'm going to do my best here. So let's see. I try to match it up with my lower lash line. So I go from the lower lash line. I start here and then I wipe up like that. So now we've got a nice little and then I kind of just if there's any extra, I just wipe down to clean up anything else down there. And if there's any fallout there so now we're gonna try and match that on the other side so let's see lower lash line start here up oh my god I did it <laughs> Ooh. okay so clean up down here clean up the rest of over here There. <laughs> oh my god, I got a match. I'm actually pretty shocked at myself. So before we move on to the lower lash line, you're going to want to make sure you let the makeup wipe area dry fully. Otherwise, you're going to really mess up your lower lash line. So I'm just going to like pat this out, sit, let me grab my fan. Because you really want to let it dry fully because otherwise if you go in with shadows you're going to get fallout and it's going to stick and it's not going to blend right on your lower lash line so i'm going to let it sit for a few minutes before we move on to the lower lash line all right so now that our lower lash line area is now dry i'm going to go with the blue and i'm going to take the same um small liner brush that we used before i cleaned this with um the cinema secrets cleaner so there's no black left on it hopefully and i'm going to keep the blue close to my lash line. I don't want it to blend too far out because I've noticed um, doing my lower lash line without a full face of makeup, it things blend out a lot more different, a lot differently. Uh, they just blend out differently. <laughs> 
and so it's it can get out of hand and if you try to clean up your lower lash line you'll end up with like some harsh lines so it, it doesn't look as nice so what i'm trying to say is that blending out your lower lash line with no concealer or makeup or anything underneath it it's a lot different so it is something you have to get used to and see what you like and so what i like is keeping the color a lot closer to my lash line so i'm just gonna stamp this basically right under the lashes and i do want to bring this in like that so it is very close to the lash line but it looks a lot better now that we don't have like because i'm not doing the rest of my face and I really wanted to keep the blending of this to like a minimum. So let's do the other side. And something I've noticed, you see how I'm turning my head instead of moving my brush? When I'm trying to keep a color close to my lower lash line, I've noticed it helps if I keep the brush kind of steady and like move my head like this with it instead. There we go. So it's not like, well, in person, it's kind of popping out at you, but I want to keep it tight, like nice tight line. So I'm gonna take my um, tiny little blending brush, no other color on it. I'm gonna keep this really to a minimum, but I do wanna blend out just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna take this, no product on it, and just slightly blend. If you've seen any of my other tutorials, you'll know that this is not how I would normally go in to blend. Normally you would see me look up and like really go in and blend it. Here, I'm really just tapping out the color. I wanna disperse it just as close to the lash line as I can. So if you can see, I don't know if you can see the difference, this looks a lot more blended out. It looks more smoky. It looks a little bit better than this side, which clearly looks like I just stamped it on. So that's literally all I'm trying to do with this brush. Just like that. All right, so I think we're just about done with the shadow. So I'm going to go in with just a little bit of black liner in my waterline. I've got this black liner from Mosquito that I really love. And then for my mascara, I'm going to go in with the Pixie Mascara. So before I do mascara, I did forget to do the black liner on the bottom. So I did the eyeliner in the waterline. So you can see how nicely it looks in the top lash line because I did add that black shadow to the top. But on the bottom, it looks a little harsh because we did not add the black liner or the black shadow on the bottom. So I'm going to do just a tiny bit of the black on this brush. And this I'm just going to stamp. I'm not going to blend this. I am just going to stamp it right there. So it is a subtle change, but it will help tie the liner and the look together. There we go, that looks great. So this is the final look and this is how I'm going to be wearing it today. I'm actually, you know, for a look that puts me a little bit out of my comfort zone and really gets me to work more with mattes and less with shimmer. I'm actually really happy with how this look came out. It's a bit subtle on the top, but I love the subtle pop of blue on the bottom and I really like the way the liner came out and it just it just really works all together. And for a no makeup, like no face makeup look, I think this is great. So thank you guys so much for watching this Spotlight on Petite palette. I absolutely adore this palette. I've had this for actually a long time at this point. So if you're interested in Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, their website will be linked down below. I hope you'll take part in their 30 day, 31 days of Halloween. I do not know if this palette will go on sale, but if it does, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I will be posting about it then. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you liked this video. You'll give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I hope you would consider subscribing before you leave. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.